In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at some of the common array functions that will come handy when you're working with arrays. So the first one that we'll be covering is count. Now, this lets us count all the items in an array. For instance, we can just make use of the count method and pass in the array variable, and then it's going to return the total number of items present in that array. Next, we'll be covering implode. So if you want to create a CSV string, let's say, from a given array. In that case, you can make use of implode. And uh, here, as you can see, we are specifying the character with which you want to join the items of an array. Here it's comma, and then the name of the array is passed as another parameter to this implode function. Next, we'll be covering shuffle. Now, shuffle actually changes the array in place to a random order. So you're basically shuffling the same array items. So at one given point of time in an indexed array, the index position of a given item will change when the shuffle will be implemented on it. And we can make use of it by using shuffle and passing the name of the array. Then we have sort method. So basically when we use sorting on an array, elements will be arranged from lowest to highest when this function is completed. The default one is with a flag called sort regular. And here we are doing a case insensitive natural ordering. And these are some of the flags that we have. So when we say sort regular, it means that compare items normally don't change their types. Sort numeric means compare items numerically. And sort string means compare item as strings. Sort locale string means compare items as strings based on the current locale. It uses the locale which can be changed using set local method of PHP. Then we have sort natural, which compare items as strings using natural ordering. And uh, then we have sort flag case, which is to sort strings case insensitively. That's what we are actually using in the other example that we have over here. Sort student, sort natural, sort flag case, case insensitive search. Then we have a sort. Now this is used mainly when sorting associative arrays where the actual element order is significant. Now this function sorts an array such that array indices maintain their correlation with the array elements they are associated with. So we have a sort and then the name of the array. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the examples. So here in our array functions.php page, you can see that I have created one students array, which is containing some student names, John, Jenny, Anthony, Brad, and Hancock. Now when I implement the count method by passing the array name, this is going to return the total number of items present in the array as we can count one, two, three, four, and five. And then we have implode, and here we are saying join these array items with comma. So the output will be a string with comma separated values. So each item will be separated with a comma. Next, we are making use of shuffle. So shuffle will basically change the order of these items in the array. And using printer, we can see that result. Next, we have sort students, which is going to sort the students alphabetically. So you'll see Anthony, Brad, Hancock, and then Jenny, John. Finally, I'm creating a new students array, which is associative array to demonstrate the A sort sorting. And here you will notice that when these key value changes, their associated values change as well. So James is actually mapping to Texas. So even if it goes to index position two, the whole thing will move up. So James, Texas at point two, index position two. John, let's say it goes to the last item at index position three. In that case, it will be John, New York. So the whole thing moves up and down, key and value as well. And that's what we'll see over here when we'll be printing it. So let's run this now. So here you can see that the count is shown as five. Then implode result is being shown, John, Jenny, Anthony, Brad, Hancock. Then when we are saying shuffle, you can see that the items are now different what they were actually in the initialized array. John, Jenny, Anthony. Here you can see it's Anthony, John, Hancock, Brad, and Jenny. Next, we were exploring the sort method. So sort 
alphabetically Anthony, Brad, Hancock, Jenny, and John. And finally, when we created the associative array and applied a sort on it, you'll notice that the values John, New York, Jenny, Ohio, and James, Texas, this time remains exactly the same. And here you can see that it's sorting it alphabetically based on the value that we have. And uh, it's already in ascending order, New York, Ohio, and Texas. That's the reason why it's not changing. If I just move it here in this fashion, in this manner, save this, you'll notice now that the values are actually coming up proper, New York, Ohio, Texas. Earlier I was actually having the correct sorted version itself. So that was all about some of the common array functions that will come handy when you will work with arrays.